Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about coronary artery disease. So coronary artery disease is a collection of cardiovascular diseases which include stable angina, unstable angina, myocardial infarction and sudden cardiac death. So this video is just an introduction to coronary artery disease and then three separate videos will be made on stable angina, unstable angina and myocardial infarction. So looking at the um, diagram on the left, these are the coronary arteries which supply the cardiomyocytes of the heart. Blood, um, they were important for providing oxygen and removing waste products like uh, carbon dioxide, lactic acid and hydrogen ions. And the heart itself has a very high metabolic requirement. So if we have some problem with the blood flow to the heart, uh, which is supplying the cardiomyocytes, or if we have some kind of reduction in flow, it results in something called cellular ischemia, which is occurring, which means that there is not enough oxygen being received by the cells and all the waste products are accumulating. So cellular ischemia can occur either when the work rate of the heart is too high, so even though there's no problem with any of the arteries, it just can't supply enough oxygen and take away the waste products at the rate that the heart is working or there is a problem with the vessels and there is a limited blood oxygen supply to the myocytes and often abnormalities with the coronary arteries can cause cellular ischemia to the cardiomyocytes so let's look at the causes of coronary artery disease so the first major one is atherosclerosis so this is where we have thickening of the arterial walls and it's due to a type of plaque accumulation. So there's three types of the plaque or it could be a combination. Uh, it's either made up of uh, white blood cells, uh, cholesterol crystals or there's some type of calcification. It can also occur due to some kind of spasm. So it, there's an uncoordinated vasoconstriction of the coronary arteries. And this is often mediated by histamine, catecholamines and serotonin, for example. Uh, some kind of embolus, so there is a mass which was dislodged from elsewhere in the body. It's traveled in the blood and it's become lodged in the coronary arteries. So it's reducing or completely stopping the blood flow to the heart. And a final cause can be a congenital genetic defect. So the next videos will be on stable and unstable angina and I'll make another one on myocardial infarctions and the pathophysiology of them specifically.